Start now. I believe in you. You ready? Okay. How many of you have been to the zoo? Now, how many of you have seen a giraffe at the zoo? Well, I'm here to tell you that that giraffe you saw is fake, because giraffes <laughs> don't exist. All right, so let's start with the history of the giraffe. It started with three British soldiers, okay? They went to Africa to go hunting for game. The first British soldier uh, shot a bear, the second one shot an elephant, the third guy, well, he didn't shoot anything. So when he came back to tell the other two British soldiers uh, what he shot, he said that he shot a 20-foot long creature with a nine-foot long neck. The other, the other British people were confused, like, what? What is this creature? So the third guy replied, well, it's a giraffe. And it was eating leaves off of the tree. And, and, and I shot it. So the other British people, the other British people uh, said, well, let us see it. So then the third guy said, no, after I shot it, it fell off the cliff. <laughs> All right, guys, that is the history of the giraffe and how it was created. And if you don't believe it, well, too bad, it's still true. <laughs> and here are my personal experiences with the giraffe. So when I went to the zoo, I went there twice, one with my school, one with my family. And when I went there with my school, we went to the giraffe exhibit, and I looked around. I'm like, what? There are no giraffes in this exhibit. And like, but all my friends and teachers were, were like in awe. They're like, whoa, look at that giraffe over there. I looked around again, like, oh, you mean that tree with ears? No, I'm not buying it. That's just a tree with little ears coming out. It doesn't even look like a giraffe at all. And then the second time I went to the zoo, I went with my family. And we went to the giraffe exhibit, of course, because who doesn't want to see a 20 foot tall creature? However, when we went there, I saw, I saw my dad. I saw my dad in a giraffe outfit. It was so sad because I wanted to see a 20 foot tall creature, but I just got my dad. And you know, like, I was probably like 0 .004 football acre of field tall. And, and like anything from that height looks like a giraffe. And I did some research on the British Society of Animal Science, you know, the country that created the giraffe. And when I looked it up, nothing found. I went to Natural Geographic, nothing found. And, do you know what did have something about giraffe? Yes, Wikipedia did. Most untrustworthy source on the internet. Look, I think A.B. Lang and Comp. I know how to use trustworthy sources. <laughs> However, the only source I could use for this assembly was Wikipedia. So on the Wikipedia page, if you go to the evolution section, it says the giraffe originated from the Ruminantia, okay? <laughs> I don't know what that is, so I looked it up, and I got a picture of a white-tailed deer. <laughs> the white-tailed deer live in the, the Americas. The giraffe lives in Africa. How can this be possible? <laughs> it's only possible if the giraffe didn't exist. So, I, I have a question for my audience here. What sound does a giraffe make? <laughs> does it go... <laughs> does it go... <laughs> like, we don't know. A cow goes moo, a dog goes bark, but a giraffe? <laughs> we don't know! So, I did find a video on YouTube that had actual giraffe sounds, and this is what I got. <laughs> Giraffe makes. However, if you raise the <laughs> speed of it and raise the pitch of it, you get this. Then comes my fit again! <laughs> my hell's been popping! Yes, that's right! It's Andrew Decker! <laughs> All the sounds of a giraffe is just Andrew Decker. Okay? So, then, 
Giraffe! <laughs> Giraffe! Giraffe! Where does this word come from? Well, the word origin of it comes from uh, the Arabic of Zarafa, which means camel leopard, and camel leopard. Does this thing look like a mix of a camel and a leopard? <laughs> no, it doesn't have a hump. Like, sure it has like spots. It doesn't look like the leopard spots, but like a leopard does also low to the ground. This thing is like, it's like towering over the tree. So, so, so I have a belief that the people in the past they called it a camel leopard. Well, they didn't actually call this a camel leopard. They called an extinct animal a camel leopard, like a rare breed between a camel and a leopard that somehow got extinct today. And people just confused it with this mythical 20-foot tall creature. But, you know, my question is, why a giraffe? Why do people believe in the giraffe? I understand a bear, I understand a cat, but a giraffe, it's 20 feet tall, it's bigger than the trees there, it has yellow and brown spots, okay? Look, if this thing was actually existed in the wild, it's just basically announcing to the entire animal kingdom, hey look, I'm big and tall and I'm bright yellow, come and eat me. There's no way this thing could exist. So, I just... <laughs> I don't believe giraffes exist, guys, okay? I am convinced on that. Nobody could convince me otherwise. So, you know, I guess, I guess just, that's just where I stand.